Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Today we're going to be making some slight modifications to my RODI storage barrel, uh, which is the white one, and the blue mixing barrel there to the left. Now, over the last, I would say, year or so, I haven't used the blue mixing barrel, mainly because I uh, mix my salt water up and bring it and put over here to this 30 gallon, which then I dump back into the tanks when I'm uh, packing coral and uh, kind of replenishing that water. So. I ship so much coral that I actually don't do normal water changes. Uh, before I was kind of shipping that volume, I would, of course, transfer, transfer some water over to the blue barrel, add the salt, uh, throw a heater in there, let it mix uh, per usual. It's probably really dark, you're not gonna be able to see. There's a hole at the bottom right there. And uh, yeah, I would just run it, mix it, and then when I was ready, I would uh, turn the ball valves, and uh, what's up, dude? and uh, then pump it over with the hose to you know whatever whatever system we had going on at that moment that needed the water change. So because I'm not doing that and just doing water changes in general by just topping off, um, I just figured I'd go ahead and remove the barrel. It'll free up about three, three feet, which I'll take what I can get here in the fish room giving that, uh, ooh boy, that it's, uh, it's kind of full. Uh, we are we're going to be making some adjustments here, adding an eight foot tank uh, in the near future, uh, replacing that low boy. But yeah, there's just uh, there's not a lot of room left down here, and I have to make it work for another year or so. And uh, you know we're going to be adding more printers, and I've got to take the trash out, and all sorts of stuff you guys have seen in the fish room up there. Say hi. Follow me around. Say what's up. What's up? You got an eye boogie. Let's get the eye boogies. I don't know why he gets those. He's got uh, I don't know maybe he's just got big eyelids. I don't know. But it gets the eye boogies. I know, I know. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're gonna do that in this video. I think what I'm, my plan is to try to utilize, utilize, I guess, reuse as much of this, excuse me, he's, he's getting me. Come on over here, come on over here. Uh, <laughs> he's like, who we planned? Um, I'm gonna try to use as much of this PVC pipe as I can. And um, I picked up a few fittings. So my plan is I'm gonna take this whole barrel and I'm gonna move it over to this corner. Oop, he's tackling me, yo, bro trying to get a video done and I don't feel like doing like 15 takes. Uh, where's your football? Where's your football? Get out of here. Go get it. Anyway, um, so my plan is to just move the barrel over to this corner, uh, cut this bottom pipe, uh, probably rotate it. I'm going to have to put a coupling in here because if once I rotate it, this is going to be upside down, which is going to be kind of a pain. So I'll bring that over try to use as much of this as I can and just kind of put the pump on the floor and of course we have the ball valve that is for the tubing here so yeah plan is just to use as much of it as I can I did get extra um, threaded PVC fittings uh, for the pump just in case I have to remove that but uh, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put you on the tripod and uh, let's get it done what's up As you guys can see, that was pretty quick, pretty easy, and uh, definitely made a mess per usual here in the fish room with the water. But uh, yeah, we have the 55 gallon barrel over here. I'm going to uh, toss that out, bring that to the dump. Uh, unless somebody wants it who's local, uh, if you see this video, you get to me within the next couple days, you can come pick it up. 
If not, I'll just bring it to the dump. Uh, we have the pump here, which I just gotta make some adjustments on the PVC, some extra fittings, and uh, yeah. So all I'm gonna do is move this wood platform out of the way, clean up, move the white barrel into that corner, and then we'll be right back to uh, plumb everything up. Okay, so the barrel has been moved and plumbing this should be pretty easy. I want to keep the pump on the floor. I was thinking about maybe 3D printing a base for it to kind of elevate it a little bit, but I'm not worried. Uh, I don't use it all that often and frankly, I just kind of want to get it done because I have some other projects here in the fish room that are a little bit more important than this. So uh, yeah, if you guys remember when this was uh, set up before, it was at an angle. We had the 90 degree coming out, the elbow. So what I'm going to do is just replace it with um, one of the original fittings. It's, which is a one inch thread to one inch slip. And uh, I'm just gonna set the pump on the floor. There we go. Nothing crazy. I did put some more of that uh, nylon, whatever the hell it is, thread stuff on there. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and come out of the barrel. As I did, as you guys saw, I just rotated it over and uh, it should be pretty simple. Let's go ahead and grab our coupling, grab our PVC cement. Just gener generic stuff from uh, Home Depot. I don't use the purple anymore. There's no need for it since it isn't really a high pressure situation. So let's go ahead and add some of this. Then on here. And uh, I might cut this and make it a little bit smaller or a little bit shorter because this is probably going to bring it out too far. Eh, that's okay. So let's go ahead and do this one. All right. And uh, I need an elbow for that. Did I get an elbows? Do I have elbows? I do. Here we go. One inch elbow. We're going to rotate this over here. All right. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple, but I can already see how much room is opened up. <laughs> you guys will see afterwards. I uh, definitely like that. loose for right now so I can adjust it and then uh, put the pump in there yeah it would be a little bit better if it was elevated but yeah it's not gonna make a difference nothing crazy anyways I get this I guess if this was my forever setup it would matter but this will work for the next year all right set that there um, maybe I will cut this and bring the pump closer yeah yeah I probably will but for now, that is good. So uh, for this piece, which was what actually went all the way up to the top into the barrel, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a cap here, but I'm gonna cut it a little bit more. And put the cap there. already on there this is already on there so I just got to glue that last piece and we're done except for making it shorter all right let that dry and uh, I have one coupling left so let's go ahead and get a little bit closer to the pump there so I'm gonna take a section out of this out and see a little bit at a time, see what it looks like. Nope, that made almost no difference. that real quick. Alrighty. And we should be done. Of course gonna let it dry but good deal. And then tighten this up. 
Well, that was easy. Let me try to rotate this. So yeah, and then we'll add the hose right there, mount the apex, and the holder for the tubing. Should be good to go. Let me go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that then. Okay, so there's one more thing that I have to do to consider this project done, and that is build a another, I guess uh, you call it a handle. It's a turn it on and off kind of flow situation. Uh, you guys will see it here in just a second. Anyways, uh, I broke the original one. It fell off the side of the tank, hit the floor, and broke off the ball valve uh, adjustment here. So I just got to build a new one real quick. Now, they didn't have any slip-slip ball valves, so I just had to get some additional parts uh, with the uh, threaded to complete the job. So uh, the idea is to go from the half inch uh, barb fitting here which will connect the two we just put on the reel uh, through here and uh, there we go and then screw that in here should brought my other pliers do I have them here no it's good all right Okay, and then uh, we got to go to a threaded slip, three quarter inch, and then the rest of it's pretty easy. All right, now I don't really know how big I want to make it here. This is actually some leftover pipe from the original 300 build. Found it in the corner behind. Uh, whoop, there we go, behind the actual barrel. So. I guess, I guess it's okay, it seems me a little bit shorter. And then we'll put a fitting here. So let me go ahead and glue this in. Alright, I'll do this fitting first before I do the final one on that. Grab this pipe. Okay, come off another piece. All right. Seems a little too big. Let's do half the glue first. Doesn't have to be perfect, but okay. That's crooked as shit. That will do. And then I guess we can put a in for a little. Actually, we'll do a little bit bigger piece. Toss that. All right. So give that a second to dry. Uh, move the camera, and then we'll attach it. And be uh, good to go. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is attach this tubing to the barb fitting. 
Uh, I like to use a little bit of a butane uh, torch here just to warm it up. It's a quicker process than trying to get it over there. I am rushing it. It's kind of burning a little bit. All right. It's on there pretty good. Uh, once it uh, cools down, it will uh, restrict around the bar fitting, but you can also add some zip ties, which I'll probably do anyways. And that's it. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. And what a difference just moving that barrel and getting rid of the other one did to the fish room. It really looks open now and uh, it is still a mess. There's still a lot going on down here and I made a bigger mess trying to find pieces for all this, actually trying to find the PVC glue. And uh, yeah, I really like how it turned out. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it was something so simple, I figured I'd share it with you guys anyways. But a quick rundown on the system, or the setup before I let you go. Uh, to get the water out of here, to simply open up this ball valve, going to leave this one alone, and uh, come over here and hit my little makeshift holder for my pump. And uh, that goes to the, uh, the apex, the breakout box, and then turns it on. And uh, yeah, I don't really think I need this anymore since I'm not doing any temp or probes like that. But then again, I think oh yeah never mind i do need it because the breakout box connects to the io port so yeah i got to keep that on there anyway uh that's about it pretty simple and this uh when we get it over to the atl or the uh the salt mixing barrel that we have over behind me i just gotta turn the valve and start filling it up so pretty happy about that and again what a difference it made just i probably should have took a before picture yeah anyways worked out pretty good so only thing left to do now is just clean up all this damn trash and throw all that wood away and again if you want the barrel if you're local and you want the barrel let me know but uh that's about it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned the next video will be on i have to show you do, 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 do. the frag racks that i've been making so we got a couple different sizes and how to make frag racks so yeah that'll be the next video and uh hopefully i'll have that out within the next uh, few days all right so that's about it i'll see you guys later thanks bye